Well, ladies and gentlemen, another busy day here on the tenant farm. We are looking at a potentially huge new job. There's something very nice and shiny behind that shed, and we're taking the tillage train out. Let's go. Hello, folks. Welcome back along to another episode of the Farmer Contractor Series with me, Simulation Fall Nation, here on Greenland's Farms. Today, we have been looking at a potentially huge job out on the National Park here, so we're waiting to see just what that's going to look like. They also need a bit more wood chip clearing at some point soon, uh, but we're not on that today. But yeah, that's going to be something that may well be coming down the line soon. We just have to wait and see, really, and see how that progresses. Waiting for a few phone calls back there. It's possible we've uh, kind of discussed what we can do to help them. And we'll have to see where that goes. So that being said, we're off. We need to go and uh, head back up to the yard. There's a few new arrivals up there we're going to have a look into. And then we need to get some work done. So first thing is first. So we're just going to swing in. Slow ourselves down here. And uh, yeah, go back. Park us back up the yard. That's a beautiful morning. The team, for the most part, have been out already this morning. Doing a little bit. They're out uh, with more fertilizer work, actually. So they're going to be cracking along with that as we speak. Uh, so that is fantastic. The Otherwise, though, the... Uh, the 724 is at the yard. The driver's going to get himself ready to go there soon. We've got one more drilling job in the books at the moment before uh, they catch up to where I'm going to be this afternoon there, really. Uh, so that's always interesting. Everything's keeping busy there. All of our own fields are looking good. We've seen a good intake in our workloads uh, for our spring uh, applications, really. Uh, and long may that continue. And we've actually seen a lot of really good growth of late. There is a slim chance that by the end of this month here, we might be looking at some early first cut silage. Uh, waiting just to get a few words back on that one. But yeah, it could be coming a lot sooner than we might think, which is quite something. Uh, it seems to be a really good March, a really good spring for growth. Nice and warm. Bit of rain here and there just to really kick everything on. And it is coming through leaps and bounds. All the spring crops are looking fantastic as well, actually. Really starting to fire out the ground there, which is awesome. Uh, but today, we're going to go and have a look at a few things. Uh, my 936 is already hooked up uh, and ready to go. We're going to... It just needs a bit of... It's been pressure washed off this morning there. Uh, it's been parked around the corner by one of the lads there who's just been fueling it up. And uh, but there should be a new delivery here that we're going to have a peek in with first. And there's a 724. It's going to be going out soon. Looking nice and clean and tidy again. Uh, and we are just parked around the corner here. We've got the single pass on there, ready to go. I just need to stick a bit of diesel into that, and then we're laughing. But this delivery was the final piece of this delivery was brought over this morning. And I did mention that there was going to be some new arrivals to fill the classic shed up. And just look at them. The deers are populating faster than I can care to imagine around here. However, they are in this except uh, this case we will make a strong exception. Because look at them. A John Deere 6910. This is an absolute statement tractor. This thing was a real gem when it came out there. Absolutely fantastic machine. And a 4755. Well, a lot older, uh, but some absolute power in here as well. You'll notice they are on European plates. They were bought from Germany. Uh, we are going to look to get those registers and changed over to here. Now, we've made a little bit more of a change from the classics that are in the shed here. Obviously, you can see uh, I wanted to get some machines that were a little bit bigger really so in theory they could do a job for me on the farm if we needed to both of these could pull a plow uh that 47.55 could probably pull the baler uh and you know if we really needed to we could put them to some kind of work there they are investments without doubt uh these are really starting to go up the 69 and the uh 10 series and also the uh the 70 10 series are really start the good versions are really starting to hold their value there especially the uh, if you have a 50k box in like this one and it's the common rail engine there on the 70 uh, 10 series at least they are exploding in value so these things are great uh they weren't cheap we had to higher purchase them uh but they will they're gonna add to our collection i have a few ideas and a few locations in mind but that we can take these two to do a bit of a demonstration and a bit of a uh, you know a bit of a tractor run with so we'll see where that goes but they're mine uh, they are going to get put into that shed. I'm just going to leave them to bask out in the glory uh, today. But yeah, I think you'll agree. They're absolutely stunning. I really do like these things. They're beautiful machines. We took a trip to go and see them after making a few phone calls there. And then it's just there and then had to agree to come back. Someone's put a lot of time and effort in restoring this one. There were some pictures around about showing this one in. Well, uh, a, a lot less of a, a, a good state. That's for sure. That it, it wasn't quite so 
well maintained there's little neglected so we're looking fantastic there now which is awesome to see and much the same for 6910 very clean and tidy very mint inside actually a really good condition there a uh, few hours on this one actually there's a weird backstory to it but it's uh yeah very few hours so very very pleased with both of these and that is a, a, a real nice five some there really beautiful tractors really can't argue skip a beat uh, but today today we need to spend most of our time in something a little bit more modern really we're going out in the 936 of course uh, we have the single passer and we are getting ready to go uh, it's all the tractor's been blown down a little bit i uh, had a, all of the muck and dust of the last few weeks taken off it and now and now we just need to fill this guy up here uh so shouldn't take too much longer to fill uh it was pretty empty though, i would say that so we'll get this filled up there we'll get it all started up everything has to be greased off after we washed it anyway so it's all looking good there and we can go to the field and get going we've got a fair size field to get stuck into should take us a little bit of time to work through there but it is going into what was barley stubble which has been left over the winter and then we will get this perfect and ready to go There you go. Uh, so everything else is looking golden on here. We just want to make sure we don't crack the subsoil legs off the back there. That would suck. And then drill is in the front now. There you go. Perfect. I mean it's not not ideal but anyway we're through so this is gonna be some of the uh the first contract work that we're doing with this actually we've done our own uh spring land prep with this which went very very well as you could expect uh but nice to be able to get out and about and do some work for some other folks uh we're all set up so we shall get ourselves away so we're not going too far we're just on the other side of the production depot there there's a field that we need to get cracking through with but um we will head on that way anyway uh, and then what we'd like to say what we will do is this has not had any of the treatment to it or any of the field work done We're gonna rip this through one pass should do it. and It's ready to be drilled uh, The drill has about 40 acres to go and do elsewhere before it gets to us uh, And then we'll be able to uh, be in a position that we can we can take it on We have really been able to take advantage of the weather that we're seeing at the moment though Which has been superb for the for the business uh, We're getting ahead of everything because it does look like like I say that we might see a little bit more uh, or some forage work coming in earlier rather than later so that could be rather good for us um being in a bit of dialogue with the local bj as well about assisting them with some of the digest digestate delivery and application uh now we'll have to see about that we don't really have the infrastructure for that or the the means at the moment so we'll we'll have to see we've really got the tractors but we don't really have we've only got one tank which is not really what they need we can give them a bit of a longer term high with that tanker but you know for what i think they had in mind it's not really going to fit the mold but anyway we are going to be going i think i roughly know where this entrance to the field is i mean i guess we'll soon find out obviously we're just coming up to our uh, production depot here on the left where we do need to go in sooner rather than later and uh take another delivery out there Uh, let's just those on quickly have a quick run up the road here see if we can get into this way there's no little barn here i wonder if we can get in around the side uh, okay i don't actually know who uses these barns there's not much happening there but anyway we're going to come through here because it's a little bit wider of a gateway we go straight down past that building there as well so that should be easy done let's just get my tractor off the main road pausing the right seam uh there was a tractor and well a similar cultivation train actually on the main road up the hill there that caused the flat tire and blocked off half the road they were very close to being towed away by some heavy recovery unit there which would have been no doubt astronomically expensive to, to repay that bill so uh we don't want that happening with us anytime soon but anyway, through we come. 
And yeah, this should be nice and easy for us to get in, get set up, and get us off ready to go. Let's slow it down there. On the corner. Easy does it. Perfect. So I hope you're all doing very well. Do let us know as always down below what you're working on, what tractors you're driving at the moment, and what you're getting prepared to do. Uh, a lot of people are all over the map really in terms of where they are with their field work so always interesting to know must admit i'm very very happy that we have our sprayers uh our sprayer ready to go there and two solid fertilizer applicators are always on hand because sometimes we're seeing work come in and big big chunks as well so we we had one guy ask us to come and do 500 acres very last minute actually we were able to accommodate it but only because we had one sprayer on standby there really look at that though that just look awesome in the sun okay so we want to squeeze through here gates in this area weren't built for big tractors here you go what we'll probably do when we come out is this uh tickle the subsoil legs back through this ground here just to lift up that compaction because this is the field we're going into the river is just down in there Oh, Swing that back a bit. And then what I think we'll do is go and tee off in that bottom corner there, I reckon. So if we just look to set the hydraulic school valves away now. Front down. Put the packer roller down. Must have got a GPS set up there once we get it in there as well. But otherwise, the train is ready to go. I love using this machine. It's absolutely phenomenal when you get into the field. They're so easy to use, so so efficient, and quite simple really. Once you get it dialed in, get everything set right, it's very very simple to use. All right, I think we should be good. So we'll just get ourselves into that corner. Now we are going to be putting into here. Usually uh, this is going to go to spring barley, I think. Uh, they decided against putting oil seed right back in, uh, which is a decision I can kind of understand because it is all over the place, really, in terms of its inputs. Stick that down. Lower the back roller at the back end there as well. All right, and I think we're good. Let's just get ourselves the speed build up here. Excellent stuff. And we're away. And what we'll do is we'll just take one pass down, and then I'll show you what this is doing really when we get to uh, when we turn around and get into our other pass. I just want to make sure that we have everything set. Oh, I like it. It seems to be okay. But we'll, all, we'll just follow back up as soon as we uh, feel like we're in a good position here. Uh, stop about that. There you go. So what we're doing here, the first two discs are going through and mulching over that top, uh, the, the stubble really. Uh, this was chopped, so there's a little bit of uh, organic matter still here. So it's working that into the uh, tilt on the top. Subsoil legs, which appear to be in fairly deep, are going to go through and rip through that pan take out any of that uh rip any through any of that hard crust on the surface there and then uh, our packer rolls at the back are gonna work everything over there and leave a nice fine seed bed which as you can see it seems to be doing so it looks like we're pretty good what we can do now is just fly through the rest of this ground turn my beacons off to do that as well and uh the rest will be history yeah seems like it's flying along so we have got this field only to do. Then we're going to be drilling this with a bit of spring barley, like I mentioned. Uh, and then that is us done for this customer. We've still got one tractor at the yard at the moment as well. The other two are out either spraying or uh, spreading fertilizer. So it's all looking good there. And then, like I said, we are going to have to spend some time very shortly in the... Um, lift up the right one there. There you go. Over the production depot as well. Just making sure everything is on track there. 
Uh, but what we'll do now is get ourselves sent away again here. I think GPS seems to be in. GPS seems to be working. We're not struggling for grip. It's gonna be another beautiful day as we charge up this landscape here to get to get this field done. Uh, so we're gonna keep pushing through. Uh, I'm very intrigued to see what may happen over the course of the next few weeks with the meeting with the National Trust there. Uh, around the the park that we just we were looking at this morning that is one large wildlife park they have a few ideas that they want us to look into i uh, don't really have the means necessary right now but there's a few smaller jobs that we'll be looking to do as well there so we'll keep you in the loop as and when that continues to uh to change and yeah we'll see where it takes us until now though until next time thank you very much for watching uh from me here with the culty rapid and my 936 we're just gonna keep pushing through here and see where we go uh if you have enjoyed this and you yet to do so don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe for more answer or leave any questions or comments or feedback down below in the comment section and we'll have a look through to answer those as soon as we can until next time do stay safe enjoy what you're doing as always and we'll see you in the next one catch you later